Christmas sound those chimes. A ring a bell for peaceful, loving times. A ring a ding for Christmas loud and clear. Now Christmas time is here. Ring those bells. Sing a song. Ring a ding. All day long. Here's another Christmas parcel, but I can't get it through the door. For Christmas, sound those chimes. Ring a ding for Christmas, loving times. Ring a ding for Christmas, loud and clear. Now Christmas time is here. Ring those bells, sing a song. Ring a ding all day long. Let's have a ball at this Christmas cracker. Whenever new you can. Ring a ding for Christmas, sound those chimes. Ring a bell for peaceful, loving, loving times. Ring a ding for Christmas, loud and clear. For Christmas time is here. This year, green socks, red socks, striped socks, bed socks, long socks, short socks, white socks, sport socks, old socks, five toe socks, sometimes we sew socks, spotty socks, yeah. grotty socks, little baby's cotty socks, frilly socks. Silly socks. One of Auntie Millie's socks. Wear under welly socks. Terribly smelly socks. Squared socks. Shared socks. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of socks. Hello, Tony. Hello. Wow. You're expecting a lot this year. Yeah, well, I was rather hoping for a motorbike. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Christmas Eve and just the weather for it. Oh, come along, Gordon Gnome. You really are the slowest Gnome I've ever known.
Gordon? Gordon Gnome! Achoo! Ah! I can do it! Can you what? I've got gnomonia. You mean gnomonia? I'm a gnome. Gnomes get gnomonia. <laughs> Here we are, see? Oh, good old Peter Pixie. Oh. 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 Out of the way, Garden Gnome. I can't see, see? <laughs> oh. oh, look you. This one's not tied up proper. Come on, Gordon. Put your finger in this gnat. Gno. Oh? Gno. Oh. I'm gnat doing gno ball. Ooh, <laughs> there's a gniggly gnome. <laughs> Never mind, Santa. I'll use my gnos. There. Ah. <laughs> uh. There we are. That's all wrapped up. See? <laughs> right. I'll just check that the reindeer are all right. See that Rudolph's nose is working? And then I'll be off on my annual... Package to her. Oh, 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 oh. oh, how are you, my beauties? Fed up with hanging around the North Pole in all this ice and cold. Oh, but ice is nice and so is snow, see? No, it's Godot, it's Godasty. I'm cold. Well, you know what to do, Gordon. Suck yourself a polar mint. Then you can warm your hands on your breath, see? I'm Godot the only one. Alf Elf's all cold and shivery, you ask him. Oh, hello. Where you been keeping yourself, Alf Elf? I've been thawing. I told you he was cold. I'm not cold. Who said anything about being cold? I'm sweating because I've been out thawing. I wish I was thawing out. No, no, I've not been thawing out. I've been out thawing. Out thawing. Out thawing logs. Logs? Yes. Log! Oh, well, we're all packed up. Thank you for your help. You really are such talented workers. Gordon, you wrap up ever so well. I know, but my feet still feel like icebergs. No, 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 no. I mean, you wrap up presents ever so well. Do you know why I'm to be this morning? Oh? Do you know why I'm to be this morning? I was pouring out some hot water to wash myself in and it froze so quickly the ice was still warm. Yes! And I have to put my hat on ever so slowly, otherwise I crack my ear. It's true, Santa, look you. Sometimes my nose gets so cold, I think I've grown a horizontal icicle. Well, I feel the cold too, you know. Why do you think I go down chimneys? Ho, ho, ho! I say... How? How? Gordon! How would you like it if this year you came with me? Oh! oh how could we? Oh, 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 Santa! Is there enough room for us on the sleigh? Oh, I should say so. I mean, say so. Oh, come along. All aboard for the polar ride. Oh, just one moment, what, Santa. What, 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 Gordon? I've got it. Got what? Me polar ride. No! <laughs> Ho, 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 Right, all aboard. Hold tight. Off we go. Oh, all right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Isn't this it's I thought very you'd like warm. it. Very high up, yes. isn't it? Little down, don't lean over. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, 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 no. That's Sweden. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hello, Sweden. Oh, There's the Gnoll Sea. Oh, yeah. it's, it's very cold. wet. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. look. There's Scotland. Yes. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh God. what's Santa waving He's at? He's telling someone to overtake us, oh. see? Oh, no. Uh, ah. Oh. 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 oh, why have we stopped? Ah, the signals are against us. Signals? Yes. Look. Yeah, you see. Goodness, what was that? No, oh, just Sky Train. Oh. Very big. Oh, well, wait, hey, look. What? World, coming up there. Oh, oh. oh should we oh. tell him? Oh, I yes. Think so. I say. It's this way. Don't do it. it. Don't. Oh, come, come on, come on. This way. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Thank you! No, that's all right. <laughs> Bye-bye! On we go, then. Oh. 
What a lot of life! Oh, yes. 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 yes, all the twinkling lights to the oil. You all right, Alf, are you? Yes, a lovely I one. Like I like it, I like it. Are we going down oh. soon? Yes, yes. back soon, yes. Santa. Yes. Oh. oh, oh, we are. Oh, oh, oh look, look. Yes. I can see rooftops. Yes. We will be landing soon. My see? tummy feels yeah. funny. Oh, we won't be long. Hold Suck on, hold on. Suck a in, Alf. Thank you very much. Here we go, then. Stand by the landing. Oh, Here we go. Oh, goody, goody, goody. <laughs> You're on your first rooftop, so tread carefully, everybody. Right, oh. It's ever so icy. Oh. No, it's not. It's nowhere near as icy as the North Pole. No, I don't mean icy. I mean I see. All this height can't be good for our elf. Don't worry about me. I use my ears to balance. Yes. Right, here we go then. Down my first chimney of the year. Shall oh. I help you, oh, Santa? Please, please. Uh, uh. Does the soot bother you? Oh, uh, soot? No, 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 no. You can't see it in the dark. Anyway, as I always say, it's not so good going down, but once you're at the bottom, it's great. <laughs> bye for now, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye. Uh, bye, -bye. Oh, what oh, is he? <clears throat> I'm stuck. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Um, Santa's stuck. Oh. Oh. Well, I suppose we'll have to get him out. Oh. If people see Santa stuck in a chimney, they'll think he's gone potty. Oh. Oh. Ready? Pull. Eve. Oh. Oh. Eve. Oh. oh, come along, pull harder. The girls and boys won't get any toys if you don't pull me out. Again, Eve. Oh. Eve. Oh. Just a moment. Smile, oh. please, Santa. Do not get out, Gordon. Go on, smile. I can make you. Come out! Oh, how? Oh. This is my new Polaroid camera, right? Yes. And the instructions say that if you take a photograph of someone, they'll come out in ten seconds. And by my estimate, you're due to come out just about the now! Oh. Oh. Oh, well, well done, done Gordon. Gordon! You're a good genius, Gordon! It was good nothing. Uh. Go one, two, three! When Santa was stuck up the chimney, he began to shout. You girls and boys won't get any toys if you don't pull me out. My beard is black, there's soot in my sack, my nose is tickling too. When Santa goes stuck up the chimney, achoo, achoo, achoo. On the eve before Christmas Day, when Santa Claus arrived on his sleigh, into the chimney he went with his sack, but he was so fat he couldn't get back. Oh, what a terrible plight. I might have been there all night. When Santa goes stuck up the chimney, he began to shout. You girls and boys won't get any toys if you don't pull me out. My beard is black, there's soot in my sack, my nose is tickling too. Oh, it's a little A simple game. Now, you've heard of tail on a donkey? Cash on a Santa. Anita. Oh, oh. Uh, Anita. Now then, Hello. take this in your right hand. It's a moustache. Close your eyes and stick it onto Santa's lip. There you are. Uh, no, I... When Christmas comes, their mummies and daddies will take them. Tony, 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 Tony. Would you please uh, take this moustache in your right hand, all right, and stick it on that Santa's lip? <laughs> uh, no, no, hold it. Sorry, I should have said, I should have said, close your eyes and take this in your right hand. No, open your eyes. Take this in your right hand. Close your eyes. Now stick it on Santa's lip. Oh. oh, you can open them now. I'm dreaming mm. Julie, of Julie, light. Please. I'm in a terrible hurry, Brian. I know, but would you please just stick this moustache on? Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. There. Well, now, if you decide to play a game of this ilk at a gathering over Christmas, do make sure, won't you, that, unlike me, make sure that someone gets the point. 
boys. I've got the shopping you wanted. Ryan, your holly. Gee, thanks, Julie. You're welcome. Dave, your Thank string. Thank you, Julie. Lovely. Uh, John, your wrapping paper. Thank you, dear. Paul, your stamps. Thank you, Julie. And Jonathan. Yes, Julie. Your crackers. Oh, Julie, thank you. Julie. Yes, Jonathan. Your nuts. Excuse me. Is that all right if I just have a little word in here? Thank you. Excuse me, aren't you? Uh, only as that's the time of the year for broadcast and Christmas messages, I just wondered if I could have a little old word in a certain royal ear. Well, both ears, actually. A, a prince's ear. Excuse me, Your Highness. I, it's just that at home we're all a bit concerned about who you're going to marry. Well, it's more my old mum, really. She, keep, she keeps saying to me, I'd like to see him settle down with a little old girl who's going to look after him properly. So anyway, what it come down to is this morning, we were mixing up the old chicken food, and suddenly she say to me, Cool boy, she say, what about your cousin Beryl? And she's right, you know. Well, Beryl ain't what you call pretty, but she was picked for May Queen early this year. Yeah, she looked really nice too, stuck up on that little old hay cart, all covered in flowers. She had a bit of trouble with the crayon, that kept on slipping down on her nose like that, you know. But that wasn't really her fault, because that was only made out of an old pig pellet tin. <laughs> anyway, I think you'd like her. Oh, she'd like you. Yeah, she, well, she, she went absolutely crackers when she heard you were in the Navy. We only got to mention sailors, and she go all funny. <laughs> but her family have had a, a lot to do with the sea. Yeah, well, they live at Dunnage, you know. They've been flooded twice. <clears throat> Anyway, the point is this. Her mum, Beryl's mum, knows Mr Rumsby, who's a caretaker up at the Young Farmers Clubhouse, you see. And she was thinking of head to the, to the reception and she wondered if you might like to have the reception there, you see. And she, that's Beryl's mum and my mum and Mrs Pooley, their friend, they always do all the food for all the functions up there. And they do some lovely stuff, you know. My mum said she reckoned that maybe something like this might be of interest to you, if you were keen on it. Um, like, for starters, you could have various fish. You could have winkles, whelks, uh, and probably uh, mussels marinier. That's French uh, version of... Dirt. Well, you probably know that. Then, for main course, you could have uh, spaghetti bolognese or stew and dumplings with all your uh, parsnips and swedes and turnips and everything all chucked in, and potatoes, of course. And then, for pudding, you could have a, a good old uh, treacle pud with lots of custard, because Beryl's mum make lovely custard. Anyway, see what you think, you know. I mean, uh, if you want to get in touch with me at all, if you are keen on the idea of Beryl, you could always get me home in the Wesselford Crown, most lunch times for a bite of cheese. Right. And there's something else just struck me, actually. Should you settle down in that area, that wouldn't cost a lot for a little old away day on the train up to uh, your mother's place up at Sandingham, would it? <laughs> anyway, uh, <coughs> happy Yule to you all, <laughs> and uh, thank you for... Read it. <laughs> and now, over to our girl on the spit. Spot. <laughs> I said spit. So does that uh, does it matter? Here I am, backstage at the opening of a spectacular new Christmas show. Mind out, you hoping go, to talk Joe. to some of the many people involved and interview some of the artists. I must say, it's very exciting being Did here the back, behind Jack. the scenes. OK, let's have the prettiness out of here. Ah, Mr Terry Tinsel, producer and ballet master of the show. OK, lower, lower. Mr. Tinsel, I wonder if you could tell our viewers something about the show. Lower, lower. Mr. Tinsel, I wonder if you could tell our viewers something about the show. OK, order there. Am I low enough for you? I was talking to my stage manager. Oh. <laughs> ah, the media. <laughs> How do you do, my dear? How do you do? 
Mr. Tinsel. Uh -huh. I was hoping to interview some of your spectacular performers. Oh. Is the escopologist here? He's tied up. The fire eater? Oh, he's popped out for some coke. The trapeze artist? Oh, he's hanging around here somewhere. What about the magician? Oh, he'll be back in a flash. Gosh, is that the time? Mustache. Mustache. Do you like it? Very good. You can have it. <laughs> ah, and now we have the honor to meet that world famous juggler, Madame Irena Sonia Woblova. Christy, I understand you missed the dress rehearsal yesterday. Yeah, I got locked in my dressing room. And now, as I'm also a great magician, I will do some magic. Come in here and I'll saw you in half. Oh, not just at the moment. I'm running short as it is. And now, when I clap my hands, I will totally disappear. Mr. Zapristi, happy Christmas. There's no business like show business. There's no business I know. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> ah, it says here you're wanted over at the Crumpled Cow Canyon. I'm ready. No, I'm you're ready. not. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Uh -huh. Like your hat. Happy Christmas, Apple See, where have you been? The sheriff's been a looking for you. Oh, I, I, I've been to Santa. Santa Claus? No, Santa Fe. I'll tell you something, down in Santa Fe, they've got a white Christmas. That's nothing. In Dodge City, they got a white herb. Oh. Which reminds me. Uh huh. The sheriff said he's gonna give it to you. Oh. Hey, that's the sheriff coming up the street now. I wouldn't like to be in your horseshoes, hop along. Uh huh. Howdy, sheriff. I hear you've been looking for me. Sure have, hop along. You've been asking for it for a mighty long time. And when someone keeps asking for it, by my reckoning, they deserve to get it. What are you going to do, Sheriff? I'm going to give it to him, Catastrophe. No! Are you ready? Uh-huh. Don't do it, Sheriff! It's the season of goodwill! Come and get it. No! Hopalong, don't do it, Hopalong! Happy Christmas. Oh, thanks, Sheriff. For the top of the tree, woman. Oh, doesn't the tree look lovely? Mm. Time for bed, everyone. Good night. Night, night, Mom. Good night.
now they've gone, who's going to start? <laughs> I will, I will. Yeah. <laughs> what do jelly babies wear on their feet? I don't know. What do jelly babies wear on their feet? Gum boots. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one, I've got one. What, what is very tall and goes about saying, muff if eef off. I don't know. What is very tall and goes around saying muff off eef off? No, muff off if eef. <laughs> it's a back to front giant. <laughs> back to front giant. <laughs> shh, shh. I've got one. Yes. What do gnomes eat? I don't know. What do gnomes eat? Elf foods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What did the policeman say to the three angels? I don't know. What did the policeman say to the three angels? Halo, halo, halo. <laughs> oh, listen, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. What's yellow, almond flavoured, and swings from cake to cake? I don't know. What is yellow and almond flavoured and swings from cake to cake? Tarzipan. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good one. What? What do you get if you put six noisy ducks into a box? A, a box, box of quackers! <laughs> ah, um, Paul, back to base. Okay, ready. One, two, three, four. Brian Kent and the Playway team will be back next Saturday afternoon at the same time when...